Welcome to this first look at the Cantema Portal Final Cut Pro 10 workflow. Portal has terrifically powerful and intuitive search tools. When you enter a term, Portal looks for matches across all of the metadata you have access to in the system and quickly retrieves all of the relevant results. When you're browsing, it can be useful to have a place to temporarily store items that catch your eye. All you do is click at the bottom of the page to reveal the bin. Then simply drag and drop all the items you'd like to keep for future reference. You can edit these clips using Portal's built-in Rough Cut Editor application, which is accessed through the Manage menu. Like the rest of Portal, the Rough Cut Editor is an entirely web-based application that will work in any modern web browser. It provides a fantastic opportunity for editors to pre-select clips before moving their work to Final Cut Pro, or for members of larger teams to contribute to the editorial process. You use the source panel to browse your media, or the same powerful search tools to find specific items. To preview an item, simply click to select and the clip loads directly into the viewer player. Video playback throughout Portal relies on pure HTML5 based players. They are frame accurate and offer a range of industry standard keyboard commands including JKL support. In the viewer player, you can trim clips pressing I to set an endpoint and play back the clip to find where you want to end. Press O to set an out point. Press E to edit the clip into the timeline and the plus key to zoom out. As the bin is open, you can drag and drop clips into the viewer to trim or directly into the timeline if you want to use the entire clip. Press I to set an endpoint, play back the clip, And back, find where you want to end, press O to set an out point, and press E to edit. The bin is also accessible directly in the source panel. You can see the same four clips that were added to the bin earlier. Click once more to load the clip into the viewer, trim with I, and O keys, and press E to edit the clip to the end of the sequence. Once you've added clips into the timeline, you can trim and rearrange to further refine your edit before you send the sequence to Final Cut Pro. To change the order, you simply drag and drop each clip to a new location. Press P on the keyboard to change focus between the players. You can then watch your edit before sending it over to Final Cut Pro. You need to save your work. Enter a meaningful title and press the Save button. Back on the home page, you can see the new rough cut item you created. Use the Item Action menu to send the sequence to Final Cut Pro. You can see that the sequence has transferred with complete fidelity. It's worth noting that none of the media has moved. Portal and Final Cut Pro are able to reference the same shared storage. A rough cut sequence is not the only way Portal is integrated with Final Cut Pro. You can also work with the annotation tool. Select an item and choose annotate from the action menu. Like the rough cut editor, the annotation tool includes an HTML5 based video player and a separate timeline that will work in any modern web browser. Click the Metadata Group selector to choose the metadata group you want to work with. Play back the clip. You can use your JKL controls as before. Press I to set an endpoint and create a new annotation. Play back the clip using JKL keyboard shortcuts. Find where you'd like the annotation to end and press O to set an out point. Enter a title for the annotation and complete the relevant metadata. Administrators may require certain fields to be set. Click the Save button to apply your changes. By repeating the steps, you can create additional annotations. Play back the clip. Each annotation you make can have its own independent and unique metadata. Everything you add here will be included in the results of the system-wide portal search. Press I to set an endpoint and create a new annotation. Play again.
and press O to set an out point. This defines the duration of the annotation. Enter a new title, complete the necessary metadata, click Save. You can go back and edit metadata for any annotations you've already created. Click on the gear menu to see the original item page, and then use the gear menu again to open the item in Final Cut Pro 10. When the clip opens in Final Cut Pro, you can see that the annotations you created in Portal have been translated into range-based keywords. Clicking on the blue line selects just the annotated portion of the clip. Select the corresponding keyword collections in the event library to see just the marked portion of each clip. The rest of the media is still available should you need it, these are just pre-selected ranges. Select the clips and add them directly to the timeline. It's really as easy as that. You can continue working in Final Cut Pro to refine the edit or create effects as normal. Let's create a quick effect here. Press Command A to select all, an option or Alt G to create a new compound clip. Enter a name and press the OK button. Hold down the option or the Alt key and drag a duplicate of the clip on top of itself. Add a Gaussian blur effect onto the top clip. Make sure the top clip is selected and open the inspector. Choose the overlay blend mode. Reduce the opacity of the top layer to moderate the intensity of the effect. When you're happy with your work, you can export your project directly back to Portal. Press Command-E to open the share window. To view destination options, click Settings. Confirm that the file will open in the Cantamo agent, which is a small application that manages the automatic ingest into Portal. Click Next. Enter a name for the new file and click Save. Using the Cantamo Agent application, you can add metadata to the new file before it is ingested into Portal. The metadata available to you is dependent on the user permissions associated with your account. Modify the fields as required and click the OK button to add the metadata. You can use the Cantamo Agent to batch ingest several files at once. Click Next when you're ready to continue. Click the Start button to begin the ingest process. When the process is complete, click Done. Back in Portal, you may need to refresh the browser page to see the new item. Click on the item to view the item page. Portal has created a low-resolution proxy of the file to play in the browser. Click on Preview to see a larger player. Now that you've seen how to send media from Portal to Final Cut Pro and how to export projects back again, it's the end of this first look at the Cantema Portal Final Cut Pro 10 workflow. Hopefully, you've enjoyed this presentation and have gained some additional insights to the tremendous strengths of Portal. You can find out more about Portal at www.cantema.com.